We have been gradually covering electric vehicles of 2021 by their country of origin, but there are still a couple of European nations that haven't been given a chance to present their models on our channel. In this episode, we will make a roundup of the remaining new EVs from the region that are as important for the future of zero emission transportation as any other four-wheeler out there. Show your rebellious spirit by participating in the electric revolution. Subscribe to our channel and let's get technical. Izera is a new EV brand out of Poland that is owned by state-controlled joint venture Electromobility Poland. In 2020, the company revealed two untitled electric car prototypes, a five-seater SUV and a five-door hatchback, both of which would be going into production by 2023. The vehicle was developed in cooperation with a famous Polish designer, Tadusz Jaluk, and Italian Turingo Design Studio. For now, we know that the models will share the same EV platform, will be able to speed to 62 miles per hour in under eight seconds, and will offer at least 250 WLTP miles of range. The vehicle should also come with plenty of standard tech, including a large screen infotainment, lots of driver assist, and a customizable driver's info cluster. Even though every car expert is pitting the Polestar 2 against the Tesla Model 3, this liftback is actually targeting an upper bracket of the market. Priced from 60 grand, it brings a refined and calm package with plenty of power and reserved Scandinavian chic. Built on the compact modular architecture, the Polestar is driven by two electric motors with all-wheel drive and a large 78 kilowatt electric battery that is compatible with 150 kilowatt chargers. The target range numbers are set at 310 WLTP miles, while the acceleration time of 4.7 seconds to 60 miles per hour is comparable to the long range Model 3. The new EV gets Android Automotive OS plus is offered with an available performance pack that adds Brembo brakes, new 20 inch wheels and a high performance suspension. Fiat claims to have fully embraced the all-electric future of automaking, so their new 500 BEV arrives sitting on an all-new purposefully built platform. The model grows in size compared to the predecessors, keeps the iconic 500 looks, and comes powered by a combo of a single motor with 118 horses and a 42 kilowatt hour battery. The drivetrain is able to offer perky driving with 9 second acceleration to 60, 93 miles per hour top speed and almost 200 miles of range. The new 500 is already on sale in the high-spec La Prima limited edition, both in hatchback and convertible body styles, and it's the first city car in the world to offer level 2 driving autonomy features. The electric revolution is just beginning. Time to show your rebellious spirit by joining the zero emissions movement by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Let's proceed. Skoda's current allegiance to the VW Group means that the upcoming electric cars from the Czech brand will be inevitably underpinned by the MEB platform. The ENIAC 4 has basically identical specifications to the VW ID4 and Audi Q4 e-tron. There are four levels of motor power, three battery sizes, and either front or all-wheel drive configuration. The top spec dual motor VRS model will make 306 horsepower and should cover 286 miles. The crossover has a large boot capacity of 585 liters, uses a modern split-level dashboard and a 13-inch touchscreen with constant internet connection, plus has an optional head-up display.
Instead of developing an entirely new vehicle from scratch, Volvo decided to make a shortcut with their first EV, building it on the basis of the best-selling XC40 crossover. This is possible thanks to the car's common modular architecture that allows to replace the conventional drivetrain with an all-electric one. The newcomer is motivated by a confident 78 kilowatt hour battery pack that will be good for 250 miles with 150 kilowatt charging capability. The 408 horsepower strong dual motor setup ensures all wheel drive capability and offers rapid acceleration of 4.7 seconds from 0 to 60. In addition, the Swedish CUV gets the firm's latest safety and driver assist as well as the new Android powered infotainment system. After the initial reveal of the Say It Elborn concept, we expected to see the production version of this electric hatchback to roll out under the Say It name, but the company decided otherwise. They chose to turn this model into the world's first e-powered hot hatch, sold as part of the Cupra Performance lineup. The car received a sportier exterior, lower ride height, a new dynamic chassis control sport suspension, and several dedicated driving modes. For now, the only performance figures revealed are the model's range and acceleration. It is claimed to offer 310 miles of driving, recharge 160 miles in 30 minutes, and take 2.9 seconds to speed to 31 miles per hour. With the estimated price tag of around $10,000, Reno KZE is one of the cheapest electric cars of today. Unfortunately though, it is sold exclusively in China. Hopefully, the European market will be getting a rebadged version of the Mini crossover in the form similar to the Dacia Spring concept, manufactured by Reno's Romanian subsidiary. The electric CUV is capable of covering 124 miles in the WLTP cycle and recharges to 80% in 45 minutes. Its practicality is reflected in the raised 5.9 inches clearance and the 10.6 cubic feet of cargo volume. The current looks of the spring are beyond orthodox in compared to other makes from the company, but hopefully they won't dial down on the design expressiveness since performance wise, it is a very humble EV. Since both Spanish Seat and Czech Skoda are owned and operated by the Volkswagen Group, their smallest all-electric entry share platforms and technology with VW's E-Up. The car's drivetrain setup includes an 83 horsepower electric motor juiced by a 36.8 kilowatt hour battery. The tiny hatchbacks promise up to 170 miles of range and can be recharged in 60 minutes using a 40 kilowatt fast charger. Design-wise, the models follow in the footsteps of their gasoline siblings and surprisingly even match them in boot and passenger space. The abundance of torque rated at 156 pound-feet allows these city commuters to be zippy at the traffic light. But 0-60 to 60 dynamics and top speed remain rather humble, standing at 12.3 seconds and 81 miles per hour respectively. What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.